Sarah. Um, this is my workspace. Welcome. And um, I started needle felting about four years ago. Last year, I created a business called Serafina Fiber Art, and I've had a lot of requests for instructional videos. Um, today, we are going to start with armatures. Um, I use an armature in almost all of the things that I make. Um, I like armatures because they make the sculptures poseable, which is fun because you can move them around, change their expression, change their position, and they're just interactive. They're not like a stagnant little sculpture sitting on your shelf that collects dust. There's somebody that, you know, you can touch and move and um, it keeps it interesting. They also um, just give you a good skeleton um, to scale the animal that you're going to make. It's just, a, it's just a good way to start. You know you already have the lengths and proportions set, um, so it takes the guesswork out of that part of the creating. So today we're going to concentrate on um, armatures for smaller animals, animals under six inches, um, for ornaments and the bunnies, and um, pretty much anything under about six to seven inches long, like this beaver. I use these floral armature wires. Um, they are 22 gauge, they're 18 inches long, and I sell them in my store, and they work great for this size. So our first wire is going to become the head, neck, and front legs. And the second wire will become the back and the hind legs. So to get started, you take one wire and you fold it in half. And I usually meet up the bottom, you know, the ends to make sure that I'm finding the center. And in the case of the mouse, I mean the rabbit, I'm going to give it a tight pinch. But if I were making a person, a little little gnome or Santa or whatever, I might leave like almost like a head shape. But in this case, I want to close that tightly to create the skinny nose. And then I'm going to marry the two wires okay. together. When I wrap the two wires together, I take my thumb and my finger and give a twist so that they wrap around each other equally. And that creates this kind of rope look, which this one's done correctly from here up. What you don't want to do is take one wire and just wrap it around the other. Um, because what happens is it eats up one, one of the sides of wire. And it's really not married together. It'll sort of loosen up and start to jiggle. So that's just an important um, thing to point out is that when you wrap two wires together that you get them to evenly wrap around each other. I'm going to bend at the just to establish which part's head and which part's neck. Okay, so now I've got my head and neck and this will be the two front legs. So we're going to set that down and take our second wire and again fold it in half. This time I'm going to pinch it to find the center but then just open it back up. So this is the trickiest part of creating the armature is wrapping this um, this shoulder area. This I do want to be wrapped tightly and not to um, not to get too big. So I'm going to show you that in detail now. So to create this shoulder area, we're going to this is what creates a shoulder and also um, puts the two pieces of wire together. You're going to take your head and neck shape. And we're going to take this the second wire and you're going to put it in front almost just like a scarf or a necklace at the base of the neck. So now I have two long wires pointing back and the two front leg wires coming down each side. And so what I want to do on each side is wrap a long and a short together. I want to do it tightly, I want to do it evenly, and I want to do it two times. Um, two full times around. So I'll show you. That's one and that's two. So now I need to do it um, on the other side. One, two. So now we have the long wires 
still coming back. Um, so this will become the back and this will become the back legs. And see how they're still even? Because I, um, I don't know, I just, I just tried really hard to keep everything symmetrical. Now we have our second wire attached at the shoulders. We're going to bring these together and twist them together to create the back. Now I'm going to leave this space here because I want that width for the animal's um, chest and shoulders. You don't want to like squeeze it together really tight. Just let there be um, a little triangle there. And this, you you can do it gently or loosely. It doesn't. You don't have to crank it super tight. Um, it'll eat up a lot of your wire unnecessarily. So I just sort of look at him and figure out how long I want his back to be. And then, so now I have my hind legs and my front legs. So this could be, um, I mean, this could be a lamb, you know, if I just kind of arrange things differently. So like I said, each animal is created the same way. Okay, so to get things realistic, I like to put the bends in the legs um, that animals have. So a rabbit has a big um, chunky thigh or stifle. This is the equivalent of our knee, which is a soft bend forward, which I do with my thumb. And I just do that on each side. And then they have a sharp um, bend, which is the back of their foot. In horses and dogs, that's their hock. Um, in us, it's our ankle. So I'm going to bend the foot forward there. And then in the front legs, they have elbows. Okay. So my front legs are too long. So we need to cut those. Um, you can use utility scissors or wire cutters. I'm going to use scissors this time. And we're almost done. The last thing to do is to bend the ends of, um, of the toes back um, to create. I mean, sometimes you can create a foot with it, but really I'm just trying to bend it back so that you don't have that pokey end um, sticking out of your wool. You want it to be nice and soft to the touch, not have anything coming out at you. So for that, I use uh, needle nose pliers and I just take the end and wrap it back around itself. I'm going to do the hind feet too. His hind feet actually ended up a little short. I might rebend those. There you go. That is exactly how these guys started. Thanks for watching. Um, next time, I have two ideas. Don't know which I'm going to do yet, but one is to talk about the little toes, which a lot of people have asked about making the little teeny tiny toes, um, which will be another another video all by itself. And then the other is working with the aluminum wire um, for the bigger um, animals and sculptures. So thanks again. Until next time.